very bad. So why you will find a Chilean ambassador in some countries that has nothing to do because the, 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 today you see there is something called the email. So when the ministry wants to communicate with another ministry, they, they write an email. So really you don't need so much ambassadors and, and, and our embassies with 100 people, 50 people. We have in Paris a big embassy. For what? You see, I, I, so I always joke that, okay, we may need a few ambassadors, you see, or to give these things that are called the visas, something that to me completely outdated. Also, I would eliminate visas and passports, of course. But anyway, let's suppose that you have to put a little stamp. You, can, you may have one person, half a person, half a day, maybe, to put stamps. But all our countries have this huge diplomatic corps. When, wherever I go around the world, I always ask, can, who owns this building? All the big buildings in Paris are embassies. The, the, the other day I was going there, it was a beautiful palace. There's only the Polish embassy. I said, but the Poland, poor Poland has suffered so much. Why don't they send an embassy? And they have a little apartment somewhere in the, in this, in the suburbs of Paris. No, 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 Poland has an embassy in the Saint-Germain-des-Prés, the most beautiful palace. Well, every country. Because, well, we could say, okay, the Americans, the, the British, but no, 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 every poor country, countries compete with the size of their embassies, you see. And the amount of, of ambassadors, on, just joking a little, of course, but, but you see, I, I, no, I look at the government expenditure and I can cut a lot without cutting the essential. You see, there should be more money in hospitals. The drama is that hospitals all around the world, there are no enough things to cure the people, and yet you have these huge embassies. And fighter planes against whom are you going to fight with fight? Chile doesn't have any, Chile cannot fight, you see, because they, they just put it into the sea. So, so <laughs> they, they move a little this and we are swimming here. <laughs> and the only other country, you see, we have to, we have to swim to Japan, you see, Japan is here. So it's very far. So we have never, we have not had any war. I believe that we should reduce the government, military spending to, to a minimum. And I have nothing against the military. I'm just saying that today, you see, this, we are not, we are a peaceful continent here. So why are we buying carriers and fighter planes against each other? Well, there are a lot of, so first of all, government spending. Now, the second rule that is very important is that we, 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 we uh, privatize a lot of state-owned companies. That, that the country had. And, 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 and we did something that was very important, is that we first created the pension funds in 1980, and five years later, six years later, we began to privatize the big state-owned companies, the uh, energy generation, energy distribution, energy transmission, uh, uh, fixed telephone, mobile telephone, etc., etc., etc. And why we did it that way? Because if we privatize five, six years after the creation of the pension funds, the big buyers of those companies were the workers through the pension funds. And, 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 and once the company was privatized, generally the company goes up in value. The private sector manages much better a telephone company than a government minister. And therefore, those companies' value has gone up 10 times in Chile, 20 times. 30 times. And the beauty is that the increasing value, instead of going to one single foreign investor, for example, has gone in large degree to the workers through the pension funds. So all this has created the fiscal possibility of paying the benefits of the old people and financing the transition without raising any tax rate and without having any fiscal problem. Okay, the lady there had a question, yes, at the back. Hello, my name is Nadia. Uh, my question is what happens if I save in my personal account some money and what happens if they are more than I need in my pension time? More than you need? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, first time I received that question. <laughs> There is something that is called giving away, spending in the big party, giving into your fund. No, I can, no, come on, I can explain you a lot of what. A woman who doesn't know how to spend money. No, really. Do they no, go to the government? What do you want to say exactly? 
do the, uh, those money go to the government or what? No! Can I give them to my children or of what? Of course! It's just your money! You can do with your... If you have more... So, so first of all, of course it doesn't go to the government. Do I look like a, a man who will give the money to go? No. No, 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 the government has nothing to do here. If you were to die, for example, because the, the best example is, imagine a man who is 65, uh, retires and has half a million dollars. And there are some, some professionals in Chile that have half a million dollars in the retirement saving account. And suppose that that man or woman uh, is a heavy smoker, never makes any exercise, a misbehaving life, so that is two years afterwards. Well, that person has the possibility of leaving the whole money to the widow and to the children, the whole capital, unless they have bought an insurance. But, but if they keep the, the ownership of the money that that person should do, all that is inheritance, and nothing goes to the government. But anyway, I'm so glad that you think that you that a problem may be accumulating so much money. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to hear. Because generally you see people, you're an optimistic person. You will go far in life. But don't worry, there are always ways to share that money. <laughs> Another question? There was someone here? Yes, sir? Basically, by, by, by prudent man rules, you see, uh, uh, they, for example, there are uh, these uh, ratings of, of, of bonds and stocks. So, for example, we said from the very beginning, the money can only be invested in AAA bonds. That is a decision. Now, AAA bonds give a lower rate of return than junk bonds, of course. So, but we always went in favor of safety. As you can imagine, I am very happy of having taken that decision this day. You see, we every way we went in favor of safety. Now, as you say very well, sacrificing, you see, those banks in New York that are failing now, Lehman Brothers and all that, they had rates of return of 40, 50 percent a year before. That is huge rate of return. And now they value zero. So, they had huge rate of return, but now they went bankrupt. No, in Chile you cannot have 50% rate of return and go bankrupt. We rather the rate of return will move in the next year, maybe between 4 and 12%, whatever. But that is a reasonable rate of return. So here it's important not to have ex 